morning guys we're melting some aluminum today figured I'd do a little behind the scenes video and we remember the fire extinguisher that I got that was made of aluminum apparently the top of it was aluminum too so I stuck that in there today and uh, hopefully it's all it's all aluminum <laughs> there may have been like one nut on there that may not be so we shall see if that melts down I'm pretty excited about this got everything set up ready to do it Yes, guys, check it out. That aluminum piece from the fire extinguisher is melting. Awesome. So I noticed a few comments from you guys asking if I recycle the aluminum that I use. Uh, yes, well, I, I reuse it. I don't recycle it because I think that's a better use for it. But uh, I do use the same aluminum every time. Now, granted, a little bit, you know, is lost because I'm taking out slag and whatnot. But uh, for the most part, I do. Every time y'all see me, like, beating up on some aluminum with a hammer, that's me trying to break it up so that it'll fit into the crucible. So, yes, I do recycle. Oh, also, I got to show you all this. Our neighbors had this sitting by the side of the road. Are y'all ready for it? Big ol' aluminum ladder. Yeah. Maybe one day coming soon, whenever I get really low on aluminum, I can take that apart and that might be enough to do the anthill that you guys have been suggesting super excited about that all right guys the molten aluminum is almost ready check this out this fire extinguisher is almost all melted isn't that cool the top piece broke off there and it's just melting y'all want to know the worst thing about doing these videos I just did a pour and whenever that pour is done whenever the aluminum shape comes out to be bigger than the inside of the crucible. So then I take it over to the stump and I think y'all have seen me do this before where I try and break up some of it. And uh, this last one was a doozy. So I got a couple pieces chunked off, but uh, I need to get this smaller. It's not fitting in. So I just need a little bit I'm gonna hammer this for a bit more and hopefully we can get it back in there. Well guys, I hammered it for a good while and then it just wouldn't budge. So what I did, I got a little bit of it in, but I decided to hammer in my crucible a little bit and then I'm able to put it down in. But since I took so long doing that, I ran out of time to be able to pour any more aluminum on things. So that sucks, I didn't definitely, I, I didn't even get half of what I wanted to do done. I was telling you guys about how some aluminum uh, is, uh, I lose some aluminum every time I pour, and that's from things like this. The black stuff in there, kind of darker gray stuff, is called slag, and that's like the extra crud that's in the aluminum or that got burned up in there, and it usually rises to the top. But sometimes whenever you're pulling it out, aluminum just surrounds it, and it's just a pain in the butt to try and get the aluminum off of the slag. So that's why you uh, need a little bit more aluminum every time you pour, every time, every day, I guess, every time I do these. All done. Subscribe if you guys want to see more videos from us, and look right down there. You can click to watch another one of our videos. I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And we'll see y'all in the next video. It's hot. <laughs>